Hello everyone and welcome back at last to Civilization 6 and the continuation of our British Empire. We have some interlopers over here on land that is by right mine because I decided it's mine and we also have a little bit of a problem brewing over here. Russia is heading towards a religious victory fairly quickly. We are leading in all other ways but because Russia is making their push towards um, converting quite a lot of civs, I think I may actually need to stamp Russia out. Rather than winning the game by winning the game, I'll win the game by making sure everyone else loses. Uh, it's not exactly the way I envisioned that I'd be going to uh, play this empire, but I can't quite say that it's not thematically appropriate. At any rate, we have some new things to work on. We could build a sewer. Uh, are we doing okay for housing? No, no, more or less okay. I could build an encampment, but I'm not really sure on that one. A market might be nice. A theater square would also be nice. A spaceport, royal dockyard. Um, sure, actually, I quite like getting a royal dockyard down, so let's go ahead and pop that in there. There we go. We are going to be a very uh, naval-heavy faction, I feel. Right, we got, got a field cannon. Is there anyone else up here? Yes, there's one just over there that we need to wipe out. Let's do that, then, shall we? There we go. Pretty solid blow there. Right, as for Liverpool, um, yeah, I, I'm fairly certain that we want to just continue trading with London, bringing in all of that glorious, glorious uh, production. We have also got a great person over here. Um, make a portrait. Have I got any way that would work for that? We do not, that I'm aware of. Uh, I'm not sure that we do. Let me have a quick gander. No, we've got no way that can really house... I mean, these can house... Oh, well, actually, no. The bank in Sparta could... Uh, okay. Well, we could definitely do that. These are great writing. These are relics. We could go over to Sparta and set that up. Let's have a gander then. Where would we need to be? We would need to be all the way over there. Very well. Let's be on our way. And that would be the end of the turn. Uh, except that we've got a load of things that are just slowly moving around and uh, having a peek, seeing what's going on. Let's continue to explore these lands. Uh, yeah, let's get right in there. I want to see every little bit that it is to see of your lands. But given that I'm now actually feeling more concerned about Russia, I may need to move my navy down near to Peter's cities so that we can actually start shelling. Even if all we do is, is slow them down. Even if all we do is tie them up, it will be fine. Right, inspiration with a dedicated research lab in place. Your initiative to recruit scientists into nuclear research program can commence. Ooh, very nice. Right, claim great person. We can now recruit a great merchant. We can... Yeah, I think that would be the main thing for us right now. Sure. Okay, great merchant for this. And let us see what else we've got going here. We can build a sewer. Do we need housing? No, we need amenities. Aerodrome. This allows you to build and store aircraft. Cannot built on hills. Don't really care for that one just yet. But getting a zoo would be a pretty nice thing, all things told. Yeah, let's get a zoo going. And down here, Brasilia. What do you need? You need more amenities. Ooh, an art museum would be nice. Let's get one of those on the go. Right, as for you, let's have a look. Increases trade route capacity by one, plus 25% tourism rates towards other civilizations you have a trade route with. Okay, so I guess it's going to become important for me to do that then. There we go. Perfect. Now then, yeah, let's continue bombarding you, shall we? There we go, and I think that is you now completely gone. Now, uh... I would say, yeah, we, we need to just basically get our naval vessels down around here if we can. Got an increased trade route capacity. So many places need housing. So many places need amenities. We are 
struggling. I'll be honest with you. Uh, we are definitely struggling with all of that. Uh, let's get down there. And who else is next? Oh, there we go. What do you want? You just want a load of stuff. Um, no. I see no reason the deal is more than... <laughs> I refuse. No. I must say, I'm a bit disappointed that you just didn't give me loads of free things. Be gone with you. Alright, let's have a look at this. Montezuma has just completed Broadway. Very well. Uh, you cannot surprise the Empire. We see your attack. We will strike first if you do not move them away. Uh, my troops are merely passing by. I've got no issue with, with that one. For now. Right, we have unlocked a tank. We've also unlocked oil wells. We've also unlocked oil. I've always, always considered that the substitution of the internal combustion engine for the horse marked a very gloomy milestone in the progress of mankind. Okay. Not sure I agree, I will be honest. Let's get over there and grab that. There we go. Alright then, let's have a look at our technology trees, shall we? What are we going to go for next? Uh, replaceable parts would... No, we. I don't know if we need that, really. Uh... Combined arms, we could get the aircraft carrier and the destroyer. Offshore oil rig here. We could go for advanced flight, but I'm not sure that, that would be necessary. Telecommunications would give us the nuclear submarine. Highly advanced information era ranged raiding naval unit that can be armed with nuclear weapons. Cannot be seen unless adjacent to it. Robotics would give us launch Mars habitat. Space Race Project, which launches a habitation module into orbit for the Mars Colony mission. Launching all three modules wins the science victory. Ooh. Uh, okay, well, that is certainly worth it. Launch, moon landing. Uh, but that's that's jumping the gun. Well, it's only 11 turns, actually. What else does this give? Plus one production to pastures. I mean, that would not be that bad. For only 11 turns. I'm quite tempted, actually. Plus one food to fishing boats. Unlocks aircraft carrier destroyers. This one would give us access to aluminium. Um, okay, well, I think I'm going to go for robotics, actually. Now then, what else we got going on? Well, that's for you. Just kind of need you hanging around down there for the time being, I think. And much the same with you. Let's get you down there. Really need to start laying into Russia soon. They're my biggest concern. If they manage to start spreading the religion to our island I like to at that point. About heaven and hell. You see, I have friends in both places. <laughs> I approve. At that point, I really need to press the wall. Right, change policies. Do we want to, is the question. We've got a couple of new ones. All religious units? No, we don't really care for those. Um, I'm not entirely certain. Wars of religion. Plus four combat strength when fighting civilizations that follow other religions. That might actually be useful for us. But if we wanted to change the government, we could at this point. Not really certain that we would want to. Um, Merchant Republic plus super trade routes can build land combat units with faith. Might not be terribly bad. But. Hmm, no, I don't think so. Not for now. Not for now. Alright, what else are we going to go for? Now, in terms of our civics, we could go through. Oh, mass media would unlock Cristo Redento and Broadway. We don't really care for Broadway at this point. Cultural heritage was decent. We've got op uh, shipwrecks opened up to us. Uh, opera. Two envoys from that one. It'll only take six turns. Well, actually, this one will only take four, so sure. We'll go for that one, I think. And now then... You need housing here in Liverpool quite badly, as it happens. We could go for a seaport if we wanted to. It would give us a 
plus one housing. We're only take seven turns, but the sewer would give us plus two. Um, yeah, I think the sewer is the one we're going to go for. Uh, over here, let's continue to repair everything, shall we? Granary first. Now, in terms of our spy. Uh, great works heist would be funky. We could increase diplomacy visibility by one rank. Sabotage production. Siphon funds. Steel tech boost. Ooh, steel one boost, including nuclear fission. Uh, okay. But... I think I would prefer to go for siphon funds, honestly. Let's go ahead. 90% chance of mission success. Take that mission. Right, there we go. You may come on back. And I'll have you uh, get your promotion next turn. And get the great works. There we go. Few great works. Wonderful. Now... I do need some better museums, though. Really, really do. Okay. Uh, for the time being, you're going to have to sleep, I would say, on the next turn. Because we've got nowhere to put that unit right now. You want open borders? That is an absolute no. Refusing the deal. Stupid, stupid. No, 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 no. If I let you in my, my territory, you're just going to be converting my cities willy-nilly. You... Oh, actually, I think they were offering me open borders. Never mind. Uh, damn it. That wouldn't necessarily be bad. But the problem with open borders is if you declare war, you get ejected from their borders. It's not a way to position your troops and then go for a surprise attack, from what I understand. So it's not particularly useful. And I'm not thinking that I would have wanted to give a strategic resource for that. Giving you all of these? No. Absolutely not. I mean, I've got a lot of land, which means I've got access to a lot of resources. Whereas they're sharing their continent. It's a larger continent by the looks of it, but it doesn't make so much sense for me. Ooh, that's not so great. Do I have envoys that I can use? I do. Toronto. Where are you? Uh, sure. I'll take you back. There we go. I will also invest... Let's see. Where else could I go for? Uh, sure. Let's pop these into candy. And with the next civic, we'll be able to take them. Okay. A water mill. Give us some food. Rice and wheat resources gain, but we don't actually have rice or wheat, for that matter. Amenities would be the better option for us there. Let's get the monument repaired. As for you, I would actually prefer you to... I'm not sure. I think I'd prefer you to counter spy. Oh, as for you, I think it's going to be better for us if you go to sleep for a while. Until I need you. Finally get your promotion. Take the range combat strength. There we go. And... What's this? Yeah, we've already dealt with those. Okay. Uh, have you not gone into counter spy mode? Ah, oh, there we go. I would like you to keep... Uh, city center and all adjacent districts from enemy spies. No, that's not so great. But if I counter spy this... I'll protect a few different districts there. What is this one? Uh, I think that's a wonder, actually. Um, yeah, counter spy the market area, I think, the market district. Because I'll protect the city and these two districts then with that. Right. At this point. Who'd be this? Caravel. Are these barbarians? No, that's uh, Peter, by the looks of it. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and move one away so they can't see me. Well, they can see me, but I'll sleep there for now. Got plenty of information now. 
from their shipping lanes. Oh, they actually found a fight. Look at that. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Oh, these are Lisbon's caravels. Ah, I get you. Okay. Well, I'm completely okay with that. Alright, you can go ahead and sleep there. As for you, would like you on alert. Now, Rio de Janeiro. What do we want here? We kind of need housing and amenities. We could go for... So it would be fine. The research lab would be wonderful. Commercial hub would be great. Broadcast center. Great artist points per turn. Great work of music would be available there. Hmm. Not entirely certain on that one. But... Uh, I think maybe a, a temple would be good. Let's go ahead and get that temple built up. We've got a load of faith. I'll check on some great people and see whether I can just buy them outright shortly. In fact, no time like the present. Let's have a gander. Uh, great general over there. Russia is much closer to it. What else have we got? We have got nothing within my price range currently. We're not super far away. Great Merchant, we're, well, we're reasonably far away on a Great Merchant, but... Now, we're going to have to wait a few more turns before we can purchase anything at all. Right now, I should probably be starting to focus on getting some more naval vessels again. If I can, I just want to bombard. We'll have a few land crew that can get in close, but not too many, I don't think. Uh, Magara. Uh, you need am amenities. And if we built a theatre square, the nice thing with that is that we would then be able to build a, a museum there. And I quite like that idea. Quite like it. Sure, let's get a museum going then. Um... We get a little bit of a bonus here. Sure. Let's pop you down there. there we go. Now, it's recommended I get a military academy here, but I'm not so sure on that one. We could get a shipyard. Go for a sewer just to bump that up. But if we're going to be... Well, you know what? We've got a Royal Navy dockyard. Um, Bonus production equal to the adjacency bonus of the Harbour District. Well, it'll only take me 19 turns to get a shipyard, or I can just look at building some ships. They're going to take a long time, whatever I do, but getting a battleship would be wonderful. Yeah, no time like the present. Let's actually start work on that. Okay, what have we got? Uh, you can go ahead and sleep with it. Got a reasonable sight range of Peter's cities here. If we could claim St. Petersburg, that would be a massive blow. But this one's the obvious one to strike with my naval vessels. We'll see. Maybe if I could have one or two in close just to help with Novgorod, then that would be quite useful. And then it would give us a foothold whilst we just bombard this one with ships. Where have they added the new settlement? This worries me. Better not be near me. Scoundrel, you. War is hell. Fair enough. Scorched Earth. We've unlocked uh, gains from pillage uh, doubled, settler costs reduced by 50%, plot purchase costs reduced by 20%, and plus 4 to great channel points per turn. That is actually quite potent. Quite potent indeed. But I didn't really go for it because I wanted anything right now. Uh, right, choose Civic. I'm going to say, sure, we'll go with Opera and Ballet. And then we are going to send out some envoys. Now we'll get that. Should give us Sujeri in there. Now, where next? I guess we could start working up at Zanzibar. 
Sure. Where's the next unit that needs... Oh, right, yes, the trader. Uh, Liverpool seems like an obvious one, since it would give us back the production bonus. 33 turns of building a spaceport, which I'm quite eager for. We may end up... Ooh, that's worrisome. We may end up having to just purchase a lot of units soon. You want pearls and gold... For nothing. No, I'm taking that off. But I will give you pills, I guess. Sure. <laughs> it's like, I'll have to think about this. It's not as good of a gift as I wanted, but okay, I guess. You greedy sod, you. Where are these barbarians that keep popping up? I can hear them all over the place. Where are you? There's one up there. I guess I could go deal with it. There is nothing there. We've got nothing there either. Hmm. Okay, well, that's not that much of an issue for me then. Right, Rio. Oh, it feels that uh, I. seems that they want me to build a. A commercial hub, but wouldn't mind getting some more housing, frankly. Alternatively, we've got ridiculous amounts of traders that we need, so I think we're just going to have Rio making traders for a good long while. Yikes, this is painful. Alright, well, start work, I guess. That's going to take me ages to get. I should really make sure that they're prioritizing making um, production, but wow, so many fields. I would not be surprised if that's part of the reason why that one's going to such a hard time. Oh, there we are. Promotion to secret agent. Agent is ready for promotion. Use the unit action button to select a special bonus. Also stole, stole 546 gold. I am very, very happy with this. Let us go ahead and give you a promotion. Steel Great works as if two levels more experienced. Siphon funds at two levels more experienced. Takes no time to establish presence in an enemy city. No, siphon funds at two levels higher. Thank you. Success siphoning. Alright. Okay, we've got a great person. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a new great scientist. There we go. Uh, as for trade, of course, London. And you can go ahead and trigger a Eureka moment for three random technologies. There go. Fantastic! Straight away. We've also got boost for nanotechnology and telecommunications. I'll be back. <laughs> I approve! <laughs> How marvelous! I approve heartily. Uh, we could go for the nuclear sub at this point, but it requires uranium, which we do not have. Um, the aircraft carriers would be good, though. Okay, let's uh, get that on the go. Alright, what we got? You can go ahead and sleep there for now. You need to be, at, well, attached to someone. Alternatively, I could just have you, like, boost their level. There we go. Not bad at all, I must say. I'm going to have to have a look at... Uh, I mean, it's frustration that Russia is, is now unfriendly rather than openly hostile. Information age. There we go. We have leveled up. Uh, right, in turn, you need amenities, so a theatre square I think would be the better one for you. We could go ahead and place this down over here. Sure, let's, let's do that, actually. Now, you've completed a quest for Toronto. City City is awarded one envoy. Fantastic. We've got two new uh, items, and we are now able to create more trade routes that we're not using. Dear Lord. Uh, one city is starving. Yikes. Okay, we're going to have to look into that one, I guess. Oh, it's just because we uh, placed something down that likely used up their uh, a tile that they were requiring. 
Well, we could... Wow, Lisbon would be an amazing trade route for us. Sure, okay. We'll do that trade. Lisbon would still be an amazing trade route for us, but I wouldn't mind actually... Uh, let's go ahead and, and set up a, a quick trade there. So we've got a got a trade stop there in that city. Now we could go ahead and siphon even more funds away. Sabotage productions, pillage all buildings in the industrial zone. Or we'll steal a boost. Take six turns either way. Sure, actually go for the go for the boost. Well, no. Go ahead and siphon funds since that's what you you're good at. Right. And before we head to the next turn, I just want to check on my cities a little bit. First and foremost, Manchester, I would like you to focus on food. You should be fairly good then with growth. Um, yeah, you, you're good with that. Uh, what else do we want to look into? How are we doing up here? Can we focus on... There we go. Amenities minus one. It's fine, though. I'm okay with that. How else are we doing? Liverpool. Liverpool is focusing on cash right now, but we could also tell it to focus a little bit more on productivity. There we are. That is much better. And let's get you going, too. There we go, that's a little bit better on the whole. But I think with that, we're going to be wrapping up this episode. We are probably going to be going to war reasonably soon. In fact, on that note, I think in the next episode, I'm going to start arraying my troops and just moving the ones that I can spare over to this shore and starting to move them out into the water. My plan is to wage war and then hit Novgorod as hard as we can from the sea whilst also having our melee move in, because I want to take St. Petersburg as a massive priority. It'll bring us a little bit closer to domination victory, and we'll generally, taking one of the larger cities will probably hurt Russia the most right now. But that is going to be it from me, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and will be joining me for the next. As always, remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.